You're here to find out exactly how each perk functions in the new Season 23 artifact, so let's get into it, shall we? Starting with Champion Mods. This season, we have access to Anti-Barrier Sidearm, Overload Auto Rifle, Pulse Rifle and Rocket Launcher, and Unstoppable Hand Cannon and Bow. Origin perk specializations this season include Nano Munitions, Nanotech Tracer Rockets, Sundering, Dragon's Vengeance, Head Rush, Noble Deeds, and Unsated Hunger. Flame, Fiber, and Freeze. This mod creates two new orb generation mods on your helmet, Solar Stasis Siphon and Solar Strand Siphon. Kindling Trigger. This perk allows you to apply Scorch stacks to any enemy not affected by Scorch with a solar weapon, provided you are radiant. According to the compendium, you apply 30 Scorch stacks by default and 45 with Ember of Ashes. Blast Radius. Getting two kills with either a grenade or rocket launcher nets you one stack of armor charge or two if you have stacks on stacks equipped. From Whence You Came. This mod increases your ability damage against Taken and Scorn enemies by 5%. Flint Striker. Scoring rapid precision hits or kills with a solar weapon grants Radiant for 10 seconds by default or 15 seconds with Ember of Solace. The number of precision hits varies from weapon to weapon and the kills needed seems to be 4 to 6. The unique selling point for this mod however is that you don't actually need to be using a solar subclass for this to work, it works on any subclass. Torch. While you're Radiant, you now deal 5% increased weapon damage to enemies affected by Strand or Stasis debuffs, with Unravel being your best bet to apply here since it lasts the whole damage phase. Heart of the Flame. Casting your solar super near allies provides them Radiant for 10 seconds as well as yourself and increases your super damage depending on how many allies are near. What the perk doesn't say is that your allies need to be near you during your super rather than before it in order for you to receive the benefits. We tested in PvP using Darcy and found that allies need to be within a 13 meter radius of you for you to receive the benefits. The maximum bonus is 12.8% with 5 allies and the rest are up on screen now. When stacking Tractor, Radiant, Heart of the Flame, Curse Mods and From Whence You Came, this actually makes a Celestial Nighthawk Golden Gun hit for 994,000 on Kali, which is honestly pretty insane. Wished Into Being. This mod makes it so ability kills while your super is almost charged spawn several orbs of power. The super energy threshold is decreased based on the amount of Season of the Wish armor you're wearing, though at this point in time it's unknown what this value is. Unraveling orbs is the first column 4 perk which makes it so picking up an orb of power grants unraveling rounds to your strand weapons for 8 seconds. Again, this effect is completely subclass independent and synergizes very nicely with Torch since all you have to do is pick up the orbs generated from an ally well of radiance and straight away your strand weapon can proc unravel for the rest of the DPS phase. Pillar of Ice makes it so killing a frozen enemy creates a medium stasis crystal on a short delay after their death. Note that boss or mini boss enemies spawn two stasis crystals. Revitalizing Blast. This this mod allows any solar ability to apply the weakened debuff to bosses and champions. It appears the length of the weakened varies depending on whether you can keep the target scorched, assuming the scorch comes from an ability, but by default the weakened lasts for at least 6 seconds. Dragon's Bite is up next, which states that upon breaking a combatant shield with a stasis or strand weapon, there is a chance that said combatant will become frozen if broken by a stasis weapon, or suspended if broken by a strand weapon, and it seems the chance is quite low. During one test, I had to break the shield of this Minotaur 7 times in order for it to actually proc the perk. Wearing seasonal armor increases this chance, but once again, the exact chance is currently unknown. Diving into column five, we have Horde Shuttle, which makes it so damaging an unraveled enemy has a small chance to spawn a Threadling. Hail the Storm. This perk improves the shatter damage dealt by frozen combatants by 12.5% and 28.6% for crystal shatters. Additionally, shattering a stasis crystal will release five ice shards that track to nearby enemies, with each shard applying 50 slow stacks to the affected target. Rays of Precision makes any solar weapon precision kill while Radiant cause an ignition. The potency of this effect can be increased by running Ember of Eruption for larger AoE ignitions. Solo Operative is a returning favourite that increases all outgoing damage by 15% when running solo. Finally, we have Argent Ordnance, which increases the damage of your rocket launcher by consuming one stack of armor charge per rocket until the rocket is stowed, reloaded, or you run out of armor charge. Or at least, that's what the description says. In reality, the way it appears to work is once you fire a rocket, one armor charge is consumed and you're granted the buff called God Slayer Warheads on the left of your screen for about 5 seconds. It seems like when this buff is active, any rockets fired will benefit from the damage buff, which is 15% by the way, and not consume any more armor charges until the buff disappears. When the buff is gone, the cycle repeats again. The buff granted is also totally unique. It stacks multiplicatively with buffs, debuffs, and surges, so enjoy the free 15%. I have a feeling we don't quite 100% know how this perk works for sure though, so if more information is found, I'll update this video with a pinned comment. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown of the seasonal artifact, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, dear viewer.